going to apologize for protecting a I colleague. Didn't say apologize. That's not what I said. Yeah, but that's what you meant. Listen, Sam. We are all on your side. But what we don't want mm. is Keith Parr claiming that you broke his neck. And that's what he's going to do, is it? There's a distinct possibility, yes. Let him try. If we have a group discussion on mutual ground, get everyone sitting around a table, then maybe we can halt any complaint he might be thinking of making. Any complaint that he might be thinking of making? What about me? What about my complaint? You've seen the CCTV footage. He attacked Dylan. I want him charged for assault. Sam, you're not that's thinking this through. You're not no, 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 that's exactly what I'm doing. And this little discussion that you and Mr. Jordan had planned, I can see the outcome. So tell us some rampant witch hunt with me being burned at the stake. That is not what's going to happen. And you can promise that, can you? Mum. An ordinary coffee, not a chai latte or a skinny capu, just an ordinary coffee. Are you lingering for a reason? Do you want a coffee? No, I'm OK for coffee. I don't mind. No, I'm fine. 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 I need to, um... Well, it's about our friend, Mr. Parr. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr? The man who tried to punch you in the staff room. Oh, I've probably fallen off the face of the earth. No, quite the reverse. Is it an all right time to talk? Yes. Well, there's a chance that he may try to sue the hospital. Uh, Dr. Keogh, we have a patient expected. His C-spine fracture could be a result of Sam's assault. S assault? Sam's assault? Right. Is this our patient? Yeah, Mike Harrison, 49 years old, complaining of chest pains and vomiting, ST elevation, GTN, 300 of aspirin, 10 of metoclopramide, 10 of morphine, BP's 130 over 80, pulse 80, so that's a 95% on it. OK, have it Thank you. Oh, hello. Well, uh, he's arrested. Can you do something about that? Yes? Yes, I will get deep in. Yes, Mr. Park. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. No, 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 come on. I thought women were meant to be the multitaskers. OK, VT, I'm going to need to shock. OK, charging. Oxygen clear, everyone clear. Shocking. Got pulse. Good. Carry on. You keep him under OBS. If anything changes, do let me know, and preferably before there's a crisis. Whoa! Maybe you should wear scrubs. But because of clumsy nurses, we all have to dress like lab technicians. So, Keith Parr. What about him? There is a distinct possibility that he may bring an action against the hospital and maybe Sam. What, because he tried to punch me? So, we want to try and get a group of us around a table, including hospital management, yourself, Sam, with representation if she wants it, with this par chap around a table to discuss it, you know? And Sam doesn't want to do this, presumably. Mm. His discussion wasn't a strong point in our relationship. Yeah, well, I wouldn't really know about that, would I? So we'd like you to take her aside and maybe just have a word and tell her that discussion's the best way forward. No. I'm sorry, absolutely not. She refused to go. She's got the cash in her hands. Apparently, it was stuffed down her bra. It was a safe place to keep cash. Hi, Tracy. I'm Dr. Sam Nichols. Um, I understand that you fell. Yeah. All right, if I take a look, swing your legs up for me. I've told the nurse it's nothing. I just need to take a look, all right? Can't you just give me some pills or something? OK. So you have pain in the chest and stomach area. What about your arms? Do they hurt? It's pretty nasty bruising you've got there. Well, they do a bit. Do you mind if I take a look at your legs? Yeah. Tracy, are you sure you fell? Where's mummy? That's my kids. Dean? Dean, in here. Trace? Trace? What the hell happened? I just had an accident. Are you okay? Yeah. They're not keeping you in, are they? No, I hope not. We just need to do a few x rays. I'll arrange that for you now. Thanks. 
Let's see what I mean. Bruising, abrasions, classic sexual assault injuries. And she's wearing no underwear. You need to get her in a gown, and I need to talk to her again when her husband and kids have gone. And if you see Charlie, can you tell him I want a word? Yes. Thanks. I've got my x-rays. I can go, right? Just got to make sure you're all right first. Do you know that guy? No. No. If Pa does try to sue, the chances are that the trust will want to settle out of court. They shouldn't. They should fight it. I agree. I'm on your side. But I know you are, obviously. But the trust won't risk losing, so we need to try and placate Pa so he doesn't want to sue. Then the hospital doesn't have to cough up, the department doesn't get a black mark, and Sam's reputation stays intact. Thank you. Uh, Sam's reputation? What? Well, they'll want to hold somebody responsible if there's a settlement. I mean, I don't make up the rules. It's, that's where it is. No, no, no. no. OK, I'll, I'll think about it then. T over Two. 60, Sorry. pulse 70, never again from consciousness. So, did he pass up before the smoke or because of the smoke? Good question. Why don't you ask him? Uh, good answer. Mr. Downing, Mr. James Downing. Uh, can you hear me, Mr. Downing? Right. Can you tell me how you're feeling? Not good, then. Um, let's get initial tests. So, do bloods, including carboxy hemoglobin. Let's get blood gases and a chest x-ray, please. Mr. Downing, do you know what happened? Mm. OK, we don't know anything. Anybody know? Any clues at all? Uh, can you tell us your date of birth, Mr. Downing? All this stuff was in the hotel room. It got smoke damaged. Right, well, we could do with more than that. Can we, uh, have a look for some history, please? If it's GCS drops below 10, will you let me know immediately? Are we the only crew working today? It was Charlie's idea, so I should get myself a wing now. And I'm it. Yep. So, if I do this for you, will you consider sitting down and talking to Mr. Paul? Nope. Hi, Tracy. This is... Dr. Hannah. Zoe. I've told her all about your injuries and she'd like to take a look. But you've already seen him. I just want to get out of here. And I promise you, we'll get you out of here as soon as possible. Well, can we go on a ward then, away from here? Just waiting for your x-rays. Well, we'll be moving you to cubicle soon, so that'll be a change of scenery. The man that came in on the trolley. What about him? What's wrong with him? Why? I thought you said you didn't know who he was. Well, I don't. Well, I, I didn't, but, but now I think I do. Who's this? Uh, the guy who's in recess. Was he here? He passed out and they're trying to find out why. Will he be all right? I don't know. I'm not his doctor. Tracy, can I have a look at your chest and your stomach, please? No. Well, I just want to double check. You've already taken the x-rays. You can look at them. What are you scared of, Tracy? Dr. Nichols said that you've got some bruising that could have been caused from an assault. Well, that's not true. Nobody touched me. Nobody. Dr. Keo, uh, James Downing has had two heart attacks and Mr. Bateman is trying to trace down his medications. So why might he be feeling so woozy? Uh, well, he's probably on blood pressure tablets, beta blockers, angina tablets, could be anything. And why now? Why isn't he like this all the time? Overdose. Okay. Thank you. Any change? Is he any better? No, BP's still low, heart rate's fast. Okay, um, nurse uh, Conway um, tells me that uh, he's got a dicky ticker. He's a two heart attack man, but no zipper club membership, so probably on quite a few meds. Her current thinking is that he may have overdosed on one or more of these meds. Her current thinking? Yes, doesn't she normally do current thinking? Uh, it's not that. I just wondered why he would suddenly OD. Yes? Uh, stress? He could have been stressed about something? I'll buy that. OK. Let's run an ECG, a troponin, uh, keep him on the oxygen, increase IV fluids, and let's see what we get. Oh, just one more thing, Dr Keogh. Uh, I noticed that his address is in Holby, so I was wondering why would he be staying in a hotel less than two miles from his home? It's on fire today. Who cares? I don't. Leave that to the council tax people. <laughs> oh, sorry, I mean, I, I, I'm not entirely sure where he was, um, but, I, but I'm sure you can ask him when you get here. Yeah? Is, is that okay? All right, then, thank you. Bye bye. Everything okay? I think I just made a huge mistake. Oh, it's probably nothing. I just told a patient's wife that her husband wasn't where she thought he was. You can't be held responsible for other people's lies. Yeah, but if I'd have, if I'd have just thought, 
I would have realised something wasn't right. How? The paramedics picked him up from a hotel less than two miles from his house. So? Well, he'd been staying there for three days. It kind of doesn't take a genius to work out he was up to no good. It's not your fault. You just gave her the facts. What was the name of the hotel again? Uh, the Ed Walton. And name of the patient? James Downing. Thanks. Lloyd, can you deliver a message to Dr. Lyons for me and say that his lorry driver may be over the limit, so he might get a bit upset? Right. You have got four broken ribs, Tracy. Now, we can manage them with painkillers, but you will have to stay in overnight. I have to get back to work. Sorry. And we still need to identify how your injuries happened. I told you a million times, I fell. But we know that's not true. It is true. We believe that something awful has happened to you. And if it did, then you need to tell us. The bruising on your legs and inner thighs, they couldn't have come from a fall. Well, it did. Well, that's what happened, that's how I got them. I think that someone held you very tightly, grabbed your wrists and pinned you down. No. Tracy, if someone did attack you, then you need to report it to the police. So don't do it to someone else. Why won't you tell me what happened? Because I can't. Why not? Because it's my fault. This is Mr. Downey's GP of all his meds, the usual ones, Bisoprolol, Adesartan, GTN, Simvastatin, Aspirin. Thanks. Is this about the money? Well, did you steal it? No, I didn't steal it. He gave me it. Why did he give you the money? So I would have sex with him. And that's what happened. No, because I couldn't do it. I couldn't go through with it. I told him. I said I couldn't. I couldn't because I'd never be able to face Dean again. I mean, he wouldn't stop. He wouldn't stop. I kept telling him. I kept telling him to stop. And then, <laughs> and then he held me. He held my arms and then he punched me. He punched me and I couldn't stop him. I couldn't. I said stop. Trace? I said stop. Trace? What's wrong? You in pain? It's just a shock. Yeah, it often happens after accidents. Look, I'm all right. I'm fine. We're going to keep your wife in overnight. And I think by tomorrow she's going to be. She'll be good to go home. Everything okay? Uh, yes, I'm just running some tests, waiting for the results to come back. Okay. Hello, Mr. Downing. How are you feeling? Not, uh, not very good. Dr. Keogh? Mrs. Downing's just arrived. Oh, uh, right, Sandra, she might give us the clue as to what's wrong with him. Okay. We'll move you somewhere a bit more private while we're waiting for theatre. I just assumed it was his heart again. Well, no, we've pretty much ruled that out. Um, has he ever suffered from anything like this before? How's he doing? Is he up for talking? Um, me? It seems a little confused at the moment. Um, this is his wife. I'm sorry, Jackie. Don't say anything, James. I'm sorry. This is not the time. His BP is rising, but his pulse is still falling. Um, how are you feeling at the moment? You, any headaches at all? No, um... Uh, yes, yes. Ah, oh, it's getting worse. Was there any sign of a head injury? Uh, we did check. We didn't find anything. I'll call CT. Mr. Downing, did you have a bang to your head at all? No. Nothing happened. What do you mean? Nothing happened. I swear to you. You promised me, James. Please don't leave me. You promised me. I was at a convention. What convention? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. He's speaking! Uh, okay, uh, can we get two milligram lorazepam, uh, put him on 100% oxygen, get some more blood gases off, please? Uh, nurse, could you escort Mrs. Uh, Darling? Darling, do you want to step outside? Can we 
get the get out. He told me he was in Stoke. Stoke. He said he'd never do that again. He promised. After I stood by him. What, after his heart attack? No, not his heart attack. Is there something you want to tell us? Eighteen months ago, after lying to me about where he was, after taking a hotel room, the other side of Holby, he was accused of attacking a prostitute. He picked her up in his car, took her to his room, and uh, according to her, things started to get violent. He punched her so hard, she was hospitalized. And did she tell you that? No. The police came to our house and um, James said the girl was lying and that he was with me all night. You gave him an alibi. He said he wouldn't do it again. He promised. Can you open your eyes for me, James? Can you squeeze your fingers for me, James? He raped her. He did. Yep, he's done it before. Well, that's not the problem at the moment. We're losing him. There has to be something. What are we missing? Just, just give me a minute. You better go soon. Don't want to leave the kids too long. I've got one to move you to a ward. Dean, it's all right if I have a word with Tracy alone. Sure. I'll be in the waiting room, yeah. We know who he is. James Downing. He has a history of sexual assault. His wife just admitted it. Now, if he is the man who raped you, then you need to report him to the police. I took money from him. But you said no. I took money for sex. No one's gonna care that I said no. They'll just think that I'm a slut, the police, everybody. Tracy, he's in a really bad way. If he dies, the police are going to be all over this. Well, I'll just deny everything. I'll say that I don't know anything about it. And you really think they're going to accept that? Tracy, your boss saw you walking out of his room. When you were alone with him, what happened? What was it? I hit him. With a lamp. Where? On the back of the head. Look, I thought he was going to do it again, so I hit him. OK. OK, thank you. Uh, GCS is falling. I think we should intubate. BP 190 over 120, pulse 35. What does this look like to you? She hit him on the back of the head with a lamp. But we examined it. Well, it must be a traumatic intracranial bleed. Um... sequence induction, propofol, socks, get crank on. OK. OK, I'll set up a mannitol infusion. We need to get him to theatre. Will you sort that, please? We're just going to take him up to the theatre if you want to wait outside. Uh, no, thank you. I'm going home. OK, then we'll give you a call when we know more. Don't bother. I won't be there. Uh, what was wrong with him in the end? Um, he had had a bang on the head. <laughs> Shame I didn't kill him. Will he live? You know, if he isn't stopped, he'll do it again. But I know that, but I can't do it. It's Dean. He'll never be able to take it. Well, then isn't it better if he hears it from you? Look at me. He loves you. He'll hurt for you. Oh, my God, he'll want to protect you. Together. Get through it. Is it alright if I come in? Yeah. Okay. 
Dean, there's, um, there's something I need to tell you. If you're thinking to yourself, did I do the right thing, just remember this. At some point, the police would have found out and all of this would have come out. Just, just can't get past the idea that he raped her and yet she's a guilty party. Keith Parr attacked me. I know it. You saw it. And some things just don't work out for the best and everybody would hate it if it worked out badly for you. And how would that work out badly for me? A tribunal could find against you. And believe it or not, nobody wants to see that happen. It's crazy. Well, welcome to the 21st century. Dylan! We could get together, sit down, work it out. At least this way, there's a chance he'll believe her. Mr. Parr. Dr. Nichols. I've come to apologize for the incident that happened at the hospital. Okay. I reacted instinctively. Well, things did get a bit heated. Which is what's going to happen if someone attacks one of my colleagues. Attacked? You think I attacked him? I just reacted to the situation. And so did I. And it's a good job that I did because well, who knows what would have happened? What happened was you broke my neck. Well, I obviously would dispute that. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for your time. And that's it? Yeah, that's it. You're saying you didn't break my neck? That's exactly what I'm saying. If that's your story, it's fine by me. <laughs> okay. 